Hello and good afternoon everybody. Welcome to Craft World Live. We have got a very, very exciting Friday afternoon for you because we've got a new launch as always. We've got offers, we've got discounts, we've got giveaways. We've got an amazing prize for you. Three of you watching, wherever you're watching from, we're going to take some three people at random and offer you the prize of this amazing new card making magic product. Now it will be a selection of the product, so I've got a list of what you'll get, but don't worry about that. If your name's read out at the end, you'll get a surprise through the post. But I will say a quick hello to people in a moment. We have an extra special guest today as well. We of course have the lovely Christina Griffiths with us today. She of course does, she thinks about everything that's card making magic. She designs it all and then she makes the most beautiful cards, off the page projects she gives us demonstration videos which we're going to be seeing today as well um christine is just in the background there but shall we have a very very quick look at the product before we go over and see her now this is the brand new we're calling it decorative words and corners now you can see there's an awful lot here i will go through in more detail between the demonstrations for you uh, but as you can see we have got some amazing word dice now don't be fooled by the packaging because if I take just one of these out and show you the size oops please make sure you're commenting everybody I'll try and get this out of the packet or let's not let's just look at it in the packet look at that can you see the size of that die that is huge now please be commenting tagging and sharing with your friends everybody because you don't want to miss out on the chance of winning this we have got offers of course on the new product I'll keep replaying those offers throughout the hour but essentially we have got if you're buying any two of these new products 20 percent off okay and if you um spend over 35 pounds you're going to get a free stamp set worth 8.99 so we have got these beautiful sentiment dies now you're going to see these a lot throughout christina's demonstrations she's got some samples to show you as well and then we've also got the corners now again don't be fooled by the size on the packet. Look at the size of this corner. Now, there's a lot of metal in this bag here. Look at the size of this corner. We're talking your 5x7 cards. You're talking your A5 cards. You're really large 7x7, 8x8 cards. They are stunning. And they are all beautiful with lots of additional dyes in, not just the corners, your mats and layers, your florals, and your decorative pieces as well. So I'll do a very quick hello to people and then we will go and see Christina. So let's scroll all the way back to the... There's loads of people watching already, lots of comments. Uh, hello to Avril Vickery, to Teresa Trump, to Benita, to Beverly from Pennsylvania, to Lynn Clifton, um, to uh, Terry Kelly, Pamela Squires, uh, to Pamela Stubbs, to, sorry, two Pamela S's in a row, that threw me. Uh, we've got Kathy Saltmarsh. Hello to you all. I would love to read and comment back on every single comment that's coming through. We've, it's just impossible during the hour. There's hundreds of you. But shall we, more importantly, go and say hello to the lady herself, the lovely Christina Griffiths. <laughs> You're grinning away. You look very happy. I've just seen um, a comment on my phone from Pauline Hickey. Can I just say a personal thank you to Pauline for what she did on her channel over the last two days? Of her demonstrations have been absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to meet her. Yeah, personally. Yeah, of course. She's absolutely fantastic, isn't she? And she did a lot of hard work. So um, did. everybody will be hopefully be able to see all the photos of what she did over on Craft Stash very soon. Uh, and you've done your own demonstrations for us today yes lovely so how are you first of all I'm very well thank you Good. Um, I'm a year older tomorrow oh is it tomorrow I didn't know <laughs> you kept that quiet <laughs> I haven't I've told Nicola but she's not told anybody else no no it's my birthday tomorrow I will be 21 again <laughs> of course you will yes I'll send you a birthday card <laughs> okay um so this collection is beautiful Christina it's stunning and it the is. sizes it is and it's you've you pulled one out of your um bag but it was still in the packet so i'll just show you mine oh thank this, you this is the um with love and best wishes so it's in three pieces mm -hmm. and i've left a piece in the bag and that is the size of it it is enormous it's can you see it? it yeah absolutely yeah. they are huge so and then you can use and then you can add in the words lovely perfect okay so but pauline was on about um splitting the words so i have done 
that card and I've cut oh. the words out of the frame mm -hmm. and the frame I've used on that card. Oh, wow. So there's so, so much got, versatility, isn't there? Yes, there is. You've got two for the price of one there. Beautiful. They are gorgeous. So do you use large sentiments a lot on your cards, Christina? Um, I do like big dies and, yeah, bigger sentiments because they seem to they fill a whole card and they make a real statement. Mm. But I will certainly be using these more. And they make, like I've just shown you there, they make a complete card. I was you know, going to say, you don't need to think about an additional focal point, do you? No. They're lovely. No. You, you can just do it. But like always, I like to add my flowers on it. Of course. <laughs> that's um, stunning. So that's it's, they are really versatile. Brilliant. And of course, they'll mix with any other um, of the dyes that are in my collections. So yes. I'm really happy with these. Yeah, I think they're absolutely beautiful. They really are. And there's, I can see so much that you can be doing with them. The corners as well, again, they're really large. Yes, they are. And you've got lots of different embellishments with those as well. They are. There's one with the corners. And this is in one of your videos today. I don't know if it's the one you're showing. But this little heart is on a wobbler. Oh, I love them. <laughs> Just for a little cute thing. <laughs> Beautiful. Lovely. Um, so have you got any ideas for what's coming next for Card Making Magic? Um, yes, I do. Um, is and this is going to be kind of a double whammy. Oh. It will create cards for you. But in... In a video a while ago, I used the, oh, let me think now, the Pentagon die, and I created a vase with it. Oh. And I did that in a video, and yes. that's been very popular with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, so this double whammy one will also create another vase, and I'll show people in a video how to use it. And I'm really excited to get that. I remember you having it, the vase sitting there drying whilst we were chatting on video call. So yes. I can't wait to see what's happening there. That will be really exciting. It, it will. Fantastic. I can't wait to get that. Yes lovely um now i know you're going to in a minute you're going to go and watch the rest of the show uh, watch your own demonstrations yes. but really just sort of see the comments coming through so if anyone wants to yes. specifically ask christina a comment i'm sure she won't mind answering there for you whether you're on youtube craft world or of course facebook we'll skip between the three platforms there but christina i've got one more question to ask you i'm just going to pop back to myself for a moment um, we did discuss this, so you do know about it. I'm not throwing throwing this at her. So now, as you all know, quickly before we get into the demonstrations, and I want to let Christina go, so uh, I'll do this first. Uh, next week, for most of the people in the country, children are going back to school, which means it's a chance for you to start learning something new yourself at home. Maybe you'll have more time, or maybe you just feel like your time's been taken up by the children at school and it's time time for yourself now. Um, the best way to do that, we think certainly, is using our Paper Craft Society boxes because they are absolutely jam-packed full of inspiration, tips and techniques, and of course the tools to create new things. So we've had in the past, so we've had, of course I've done my own box and that was watercolour and brush lettering and things like that, along with Paper Craft. We've had Sam Calcott does kinetic cards, for example, uh, Lin, uh, Lynette Jasper, Lindsay Jasper, I don't know who that is. Lynette Jasper's done mixed media. Of course, Daisy May does her stamping. So we have, if you've been a subscriber, you will have recently received or be receiving very soon Christina's box, of course, card making magic theme, which is absolutely stunning. So Christina, if I just come back to you for a moment, um, I was just listing all the different new techniques that people can be learning from the boxes. Um, what What is the idea with yours? What can people be taking from your box when they receive it? This really is to, I suppose, make people more comfort comfortable using die cuts because a lot of people are scared of dies. Mm. Um, and if you use the die cuts, there's lots of different ways you can use them. I want people to snip into the dies and create something different. Perfect. And there's a lot of different ways you can use these to to make a different effect on your cards. Lovely. And then, of course, you've got the, the folder. 
and you've got the stamps which will bring in other um, elements to card making and you can put them all together on one beautiful creation absolutely uh, i'm just going i'm going to come back to you in a second christina before we say goodbye um but just so that everybody can see inside one of these boxes if you've not seen before very very quickly as you can see what christina's talking about here is we have things like the dies embossing folder the papers the stamps this is one box here and underneath here we have things like she's got her verse library we've got ink pads you can see this is mine this is my used one so i've been swatching my ink pads we've got pattern papers we've got uh, cardstock we've got ribbon there's so much in these boxes now what we're doing from monday for you uh, once those children are back at school we're doing an offer on the paper craft society boxes so you can get one box now from monday for one week for just 23.99 or you can get two boxes for 39.99 which is an absolute bargain so make sure you check that out right now christina i think we're ready to let you go off Finish that, that latte that you were drinking that I saw you sneaking earlier um, and sit back and enjoy the comments because we have your... Is. Hey, it looks empty. You need to fill that up by the looks of it. I will. <laughs> um, we're going to watch one of your demonstrations shortly, so uh, thank you. But we'll see you, won't we, very soon. Uh, Monday the 15th. Yes. Love. I'm doing a craft along and I hope I don't make as much a mess of it as I did last time. <laughs> you didn't make a mess at all. It was wonderful. We thoroughly enjoyed it. Hence, we want you to do another one. So you're going to be using okay. your Paper Craft Society box. Um, yes. I'm really excited about this one. I'll be watching. So it's Monday the 15th at 6 p.m. Um, you'll be doing, yes. <laughs> checking your diary. Yes. I'm just checking. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely yeah, is. Monday the 15th um, at six o'clock lovely so we will see you then that's or, exactly or about <laughs> you'll be fine don't worry i'll remind you you won't forget okay um so you'll be using your paper craft society box um yeah. and doing lots of fun things with that but things that are not already in the project booklet so something new from you um which will be lovely so thank you so much for joining okay. us briefly i will really want to get into your demonstration so i'm going to let you go and we will see you okay. uh monday week you will. Have an amazing Take birthday. Care. Oh, I will. <laughs> she I'm will. In, in isolation. Oh, well, an isolation birthday. Never mind. You've got Ruby there yeah. to keep you company. <laughs> All right. Take care, Christina. And you. Thanks, okay. Lou. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Oh, that's lovely. So let's, like I say, I keep promising, let's get straight into one of these demonstrations that Christina has put together for us with the brand new Card Making Magic Decorative Words and Corners. You're going to absolutely love this. Here you go. Hi, everybody. It's Christina from Card Making Magic. So today I'm here with the new Decorative Word dies, and there are six new ones in this set. So you have a thank you one, a celebrate one, a happy birthday. This is a gift for you. This is on your special day and this one is with love and best wishes. So today I'm going to show you how to use some of these dies on your cards and they will also fit on your box tops. So each of the sets comes with three dies. This will cut your outer part. This is the largest one. This is the next size down that you can use to layer and then if you use them both together you will cut out your pattern. So I'm going to use this one first and I'm going to create an easel card. So what you need to do is fold your card in half and this is just an A4 piece of paper, it's not sorry, an A4 piece of card and it's a 300 GSM. So I'm going to place the die with this cutting edge over the top and I'm going to run that through the die cutting machine. So once I've done that, that top edge is still joined and when you open it up you have the base for your easel card. So all you need to do now is score this and fold it in half. So there's my piece of card scored and folded and that will now create my easel and this is going to sit on the top but not yet let's do some more die cutting first so we'll take this one which is the next die down and we'll cut a mat and I've cut this one from some blue card and that's going to sit along along there 
now with the two together but I've cut this one first in white and then I've added this and you'll find it cuts a lot better if you do them in two separate bits so I've cut my happy birthday and I'm going to add this to the card along there so now let's glue these together and I'm just going to put a thin bead of glue around the edge and onto these strategic little areas where it will stick and I'm very messy with glue so I'm going to add it with these little um, brushes so I'll just fill in all the little bits that won't show from the front as neatly as I can Now these little brushes are actually makeup brushes. Um, they're used as disposable um, brushes so that when you've done something on a client you can throw this away and get yourself another one. But they do last a long time when all you're doing is just adding some glue. So they're well worth the, the little bit of money that they do cost. So we'll add this now to this panel and we'll make sure it's lined up nice and neatly with all the edges in place and I'm going to flip it over and press it down. There we are. Now it is um, dries clear glue so once it dries you won't be able to see it and now we can add this to this piece. So now we can just put the glue on from the the actual packet, tub, carton, whatever you call it. And we'll add that on there. Now to create the easel, we've folded this. So all we're going to do is add our glue on this panel. So we'll open it out and we'll add the glue. And you can spread it out with your little brush if you wish or your fingers or a glue spreader if you've got one whatever you you have and now you're going to add this make sure you have that the right way up and add it to your panel and again you're just going to marry up all the lines and you've only glued it at the bottom so you won't need to line it up at the top if you line it up nice and neatly at the bottom everything should fall into place so there we've now got the easel card but every easel card needs a stop to keep it open so we're going to create that next so on the front of the card we've got happy birthday and for the inside or for the stop I'm, send, I'm going to use sending paper hugs and kisses and this is from the sentiment versus a5 stamp set and I'm going to use that and put that on the card so I've fitted it into the stamping platform I've got the stamp on my lid and I'm going to stamp that with some dark blue ink so I've stamped that down but the beauty of a stamp press is if it's not stamped properly or you want it darker you can always re-stamp it again as long as you don't move the, the stamp and you don't move the card and you can keep on stamping that until you get that as dark as you want it and then you can take it out and cut it with your dies so I'm going to cut this out with the die from another set and we'll just cut that small heart out and then I'll show you how I'm going to create a backing so there's our heart shape cut out now I want something that's going to sit around that and leave just a small border so I'm placing the die on my card and I'm going to trace around the outside and I'm only using pencil and then I'm going to cut that out So once you've done that you can remove your pencil lines and I have shown this trick on a video before and you can also do a similar thing if you wanted to make one that was smaller so let's just glue this in place and 
Now that will leave just a tiny border around the edge. Now obviously I don't need something smaller now because I've got the writing on there but if you did want something smaller then all you would do is trace around the inside of the die. And cut that out. So if you did that, that would leave you a heart that is smaller and again would leave just a small border around the edge. So from one die you've actually got three layers. The outside edge, the die itself and the inside edge and that gives you the three layers that you may need for your card. Now this is going to act as the stop and so we need to raise this up onto some foam pads before we add it to our card. So I'm going to pop that in there and I think to raise it up even more we'll add two layers of foam pads. Now you could use a spare card cut to the same shape, you could use foam, a foam sheet cut to the heart if you wanted but I just happen to have these foam pads on my desk and so that's what I'm using. So we'll take the release paper off. Now decide where you want your easel to open to and I want mine about there so I'm going to sit my stop right in the middle there and that now is going to hold that easel card open and now we can decorate it so I'm taking some pearls and I'm going to decorate the edges of my card so on these bigger dots at the top on these bigger flourishes we'll add the large pearls and we've got two more at the bottom so we'll mirror that effect We'll put a little dot over the eye there on top of the dot that's in it and then I think we'll add little flourishes, little dots on the um, smaller flourishes on the, with the pearls. Now you can stop whenever you want um, decorating your card, it's up to you. Now these are larger flourishes there's one there, we'll put a bigger dot, a bigger pearl on that and we'll put a larger pearl on that and then I'll just carry on with the small pearls going around the tiny flourishes and I think so that's enough now to add to the card so there's your really pretty easel card ready to send and that says happy birthday sending hugs and kisses. So here is another card that's been created and this has been done with heartfelt thanks and I have actually done a video on the making of this card so you'll find that on my blog. So there you've got two cards really pretty done very easily using the decorative word dies that are new to card making magic. Isn't that fantastic? She's so talented and the tips she comes out with, they just blow me away every time. Now, would you like to have a little look through the whole collection? So let's have a look at everything that Christina has to offer in this new collection. So it's all, look, it doesn't even fit under my camera. Okay, we've got a lot here. You've already seen, I'll skip through two of these because we've already seen these two Christina working on them. So this is the happy birthday that she was just doing in her demonstration. And don't worry, we'll skip straight back to a second demonstration as soon as we've run through all these. So don't go anywhere. Uh, and that's the with heartfelt thanks. Christina showed that on her second card that she bought in there right at the end. Now these are large dies. We also have different phrases. So we have time to celebrate with those borders, a different look, a different style, a different shape. We then have with love and best wishes. Now despite the packaging size, this one also is a really large die as you can see. Okay, so even if the packaging looks smaller next to the larger ones, there's still these really large sentiments. 
uh, on your special day is another one we have and a gift for you now don't forget with all of these and the corners and everything else that I'm going to show you if you're spending over 35 pounds today which I'm sure many of you already have done and will be you are going to get the opportunity to get a free stamp set now it's a brand new stamp set from Christina to co with this collection you've got lots of beautiful sentiments on there you can find that online under the new products there but that is the free stamp set worth $8.99 you'll get if you're spending over £35 on these so I definitely suggest if you're popping bits in your basket and you know you're going to spend over that don't put this in because you'll get this anyway unless you want to gift it to someone of course and you'll want one of your own uh, another offer for you on these while I look at these corners is if you're um, buying any two products you're going to save 20% and you can use those two offers together so pop two or three products into your basket save your 20% make sure your basket equals over 35 then you'll get your stamp set as well it's an absolute bargain so this is the hearts decorative corner I'm not going to take everything out I just want to show you the size of some of these dies now of course these are now individual corners so you get four of these you see how beautiful they are and again a really good size you're going to be able to fill your seven by seven your eight by eight cards really easily make impressive cards that people if they're buying cards they will absolutely spend a fortune on because they're going to think they are wow factor cards i've already had this one out already you can see the one large corner there with the geometric design i'll pop that away in a minute and then we have the floral decorative corner as well we have the rose decorative corner the leafy corner I love that side banner as well that's going to be perfect for just fitting in there on the background for putting your sentiments on the celebration corner as well I love that that looks like lace doesn't it it's stunning and then to finish off the collection we also have two embossing folders they are so just so Christina so so card making magic aren't they in style are absolutely beautiful don't forget if you're loving this and you want a chance to win a selection of these products three of you can win but all you need to do is be commenting wherever you are watching okay comment with where you're watching from what you love about the new collection just say hello uh, make sure you're tagging your friends though use that little at sign make sure you tag your friends and let them know that we are here let them know that we are giving product away and that we have brand new offers for them shall we move straight on to a second demonstration because we have lots to squeeze in from Christina today so here you go here's another one for you using the corners hi everybody so here I am with another new set of dies that are in the card making magic collection and these are the decorative corners and you've got a beautiful selection that you can make into your cards or you can add to the box tops that you make so we've got the rose we've got the floral we have the geometric this is the leafy design, this is the hearts and this one is the celebration and they look quite a lot of dies in each pack and there are. So let's take a look at the rose one. So these are all the dies that you get. Yours will not come on a magnetic sheet. I have added these myself. So there are two dies there, there are three dies there that will cut different corners and then you have different size roses and flourishes so you've got quite a lot of dies there for your money and the dies obviously are different sizes to the ones on the packet they look quite small but these dies as you can see are quite big so the one that I'm going to use is this hearts one so these are the dies in the set. Now if you look at these, they they marry up. This one will marry up with that one and that will marry up with that one. But you can't marry up the two. So all I'm saying is when you're cutting them, make sure that you have the right filigree piece with the right die. And you can see that those two match. So they will cut opposites for you when you die cut them. and the other two will do the same but if you try and marry this piece up with one of them you'll find that it doesn't work 
So be careful when you're making or you're cutting your dies. If you see, that doesn't fit at the bottom. So you can either cut four of one design to have them all the same, or you can cut all four and have them so that they're opposite each other in the corners. But do remember the outside dies. So for this card I'm going to use a rather dramatic um, colour scheme and I'm using black white and this stripy card. So for my base I have a five and a half inch black folded card and I'm going to keep the fold at the top and then from the silver card I've cut myself a layer that will just sit on the top of there and leave a small border around each edge. Now remember what I said about these um, corner dies. If you look now that one fits perfectly on that base but if I try and fit it onto another base you can see that it doesn't fit. So you need to make sure that they are on the correct bases before you glue them all in place. Now that one does fit. So I've cut all four of my corners and I'm going to make sure that I put the two that marry each other, that, that face each other, um, on opposite corners. And then the card will look um, equal. Now here's a quick tip for you. To make sure that these are well stuck down, run them through your die cutting machine. And that will make sure that the black card is pressed well and truly into the silver card. And then once your glue is dry, take a soft cloth and just polish over your silver card and that will remove any fingerprints that are on there that you may have accidentally left. So I've glued the silver piece to the black base card and we're going to add these corners. Now this one, that mirrors that one and this one mirrors this one. So I'm going to add these to my card with some foam pads underneath. With the other and dies from the set I've taken this one and I have cut my stripy panel. Then I've taken the scalloped one and I've cut a black panel. And then with all three of the heart pieces I have cut the shapes. So now we can start to add these to the card as well. So I'm going to add this to the card with some foam tape underneath it. And that's going to sit in the middle there. Then I've also got foam tape underneath this one. And this is going to sit in the middle of that black one. And you could reverse the colours if you want and just put plain black down there and the stripy one on top because I must admit I'm going to cover a lot of the stripy one up right now. But that can sit there. Then we can add the hearts with some foam on the back. And we're going to pop that up towards the top of the square. And then this is going to have this glued onto it. And we're going to add this to the card with an action wobbler behind it. I got my action wobblers from Craftstash and they're in two different sizes. But I'm just going to use a small one for this. And what we do with this is we peel off the backing and we add it to the card or we add it to the back of the, the heart, press it down and then we'll peel off the rest of the backing paper. So now we can press this onto the card and when that's flicked it wobbles quite nicely. Now from the stamp set I have taken the happy birthday and I have stamped it on white card and I'm going to back that now onto some black card. 
So once that's backed onto the black card, I've added some foam tape and I'm going to pop this along the largest heart, just along there. And now we can dress this up with some pearls. So I'm just adding these pearls into the largest of the flourishes, the largest swirly bits on the card. And there we are. Suitable for a male birthday card I would think. You can also dress this up with some flowers if you wish, it's entirely up to you. So I've just found on my desk a Rambling Rose Channel die which is another collection that's available from Craft Stash. And that's also by Card Making Magic. So I've just cut this out and I'm going to add this to my card and I'm going to send this to a lady. I'll add a little bit of glue under that piece there and then on top of it, I'm going to add in a bow. And that will finish my card off really well. And that bow won't interfere with the heart wobbling action. Who doesn't love a wobbler on a card? It's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, again, another fantastic demonstration from Christina using her decorative corners that time. And you can see by using those large corners where you're just filling a card base instantly. And if you don't want to put much else on besides maybe a small sentiment, like Christina used her stamp sentiment from the new collection, um, that's all you need to finish that card off. So absolutely beautiful and so much inspiration and great tips again. Now I want to talk to you very briefly before we watch yet another demonstration from Christina uh, about Mother's Day. Now it may be that you're thinking about your own mother this year, uh, maybe your mother isn't around anymore, or grandmothers perhaps, um, it may be that you are a mother and you're hoping your children will at least try and bake you a cake or something, whatever it may be, Craft Stash are doing a huge thing for Mother's Day. We've actually got 10 days of Mother's Day from now leading up to the big day as such. Now there's lots and lots of offers on um, and there's going to be a, a fantastic competition that I'll tell you about in a moment. But first thing, I want to pick and choose a couple of offers that I've absolutely loved over on Craft Stash for Mother's Day. The first one, um, so across all the offers, you can actually save up to 50%, but the first one, we're looking at saving up to 30%, and it's, I've named it, handbags and glad rags. So basically, your, your bag dies. Think about your Tonic Studios. Think about your handbags from um, Simply Made Crafts. Think about, of course, uh, Made to Surprise did some recently as well. All of those style, handbag style of dies, you can get up to 30% off. Okay, now there is a major surprise bundle in there as well for those who, who hunt around the website and find things where you can actually save around about £20 off of that bundle. That's amazing. So make sure you have a little hunt for those. There's enough, another, uh, I get my words out, another offer, try saying another offer quickly, <laughs> another offer as well where you can get 15% um, off of specialty papers. So things like that, especially for the mums. Now over on Craft World as well, we are holding a huge competition. We're giving away around about £500 worth of prizes. Now there is a winner chosen every day from now up to Mother's Day, okay? Nine winners in total. All you need to do is pop over to Craft World and come and tell us on the post um, why your mum or a mum is a hero to you. It doesn't have to be your mum. It may be that there's a mother next door who's doing an amazing job at the moment in lockdown, something like that. Come over, let us know in the comments and we're picking a winner every day to win a selection of goodies. So make sure you take part in that as well and keep an eye, of course, on the offers over Craft Stash for the next week or so too to grab a bargain. Now, another demonstration from Christina. I know no one's going to say no to that. So let's watch the third and possibly the final, I say possibly, she did send us lots of demonstrations, possibly the final demonstration using Christina's brand new card, making magic decorative corners and words. Here you go. So I'm going to use the with love and best wishes for this card. And this packet is very deceiving. You look at that and you think the dies are not very big, but they are. This is the size of the die. And again, it's in three parts. So you've got the, the base, you've got the layer, and you've got the words. You need to use the layer and the words together to create your, your cutout sentiment. So with this, I'm taking a piece of card, and I've just folded an A4 piece in half, 
and I'm going to leave the top edge of the die over the edge of the card. So once I've done that and I remove the die, I will have a card that is joined at the top. So again, it's another shaped card. And it's squashed it that hard, I can't open it. There we go. So there we've got another shaped card. Now, to stop that from spoiling the look of our card, we need to cut another panel in this, with this die, to fit on the top. So there's our full panel created, and that will sit on the front of your card. But if you didn't want to create a shaped card, you can cut your panel and you can add it to an ordinary sized card. This is just a five by seven, and that would create a nice look for the front of your card as well. Now with the next die down, I'm going to cut some patterned paper. So once I've cut this in some coloured card, I'm now going to take both of these, I'm going to use this one first and cut some white and then I'm going to put the word die in it and cut the panel again. And there we've got, with love, best wishes. Now these dies, or this word, is very suitable for snipping. So let's just snip into it and remove the word from the die. So you need to look at it and see where you want to snip it. And very carefully snip it out. You can do this with any of the dies in these sets. Just look very carefully and then you don't snip it in the wrong place. And if you're not sure, you can always lay the die down and with a pencil you can just make marks of where you can see that it needs snipping. And that will help you to get the best look on your card. There we go. Now if you curve your snips around with the, the die cuts, it will look very neat and tidy. And there's our word. Now I'm not going to waste this piece that's left. I've taken another piece and I've added it to this card and that will sit on the top. And the words will go on this card over here. And then we can start to decorate. So to create the other card, I've used the stitched edge to cut the white one, and I've used the, the smaller one to cut the same pink card as I used on this. And that's going to sit on the front of this card. So we're now getting two cards for the price of one. And you might as well, because you've split your, your, um, your die cut, so there's no point in wasting it. So that can sit on there. That will sit on there, but let's get some gluing done first. Let's glue this panel to the base. So we'll marry the edges up nice and neat. That's it. to the front we can glue the words in place and again I'm going to use some glue and the little brush because I don't want to make a mess of these words so we'll just add little bits of glue to the backs of the word I tend to get glue everywhere. I'm the same when I'm painting. 
I paint everything. If you stand still long enough in my house when I've got a paintbrush in my hand, you get painted. Okay, so now we can pop that wherever we want on our card and I'm going to add this up towards the top. There we go. Now we can decorate that with some flowers. But we'll get this one put together first. So I've glued these two together but I'm going to add this to the white panel with some foam underneath. So I'll make sure we've got the words the right way around and we'll add that on there. Go back so that the workings can't be seen and we'll add it down here on this straight bit. Now I think that ribbon's too wide so I'm not using that, I've gone off that. And we'll use the white ribbon instead. So we'll just cut a piece off, we'll add it just a little bit higher and I'll glue that on the back so that it the workings don't show. Now to do that I've got my glue gun good and ready. So it's nice and hot, just put a little spot on both sides, make sure it's level and bring it round. Now when I add that to my card you won't be able to see that on the back and I'm going to add this to the card with foam tape underneath. So for this card and the stamp set I'm going to make a little banner and I'm going to use the stamp that says may your happy ever after be filled begin with the beautiful today. So I've got the stamp in my platform, I've got my white card in place, I'm going to pick the stamp up and I'm going to stamp this with some black ink. down there. We'll have it a little bit darker. There we go, that's lovely. So now we can cut that into shape and add it to our cards. So I've stamped my sentiment and I've added it to a little piece of pink card and I'm going to pop this off centre onto my card. I've got foam tape on the back and now comes the fun part for me because now I can decorate it. So I've taken some shop bought flowers because they're so realistic and they do look beautiful. And I'm going to add these to my cards. So I think we'll have some along here. And I'm going to glue all these in place with hot glue. We'll have that one in the middle. And we'll have a rose on either side along there. Now for this one I think we'll add these going up alongside the sentiment and you can curve them to whichever way you want them to go. We'll add no I don't think we'll add, we'll add some roses in along there We'll pop a tulip in at the top and we'll add another rose there just to cover the stems at the bottom and we'll pop these tulips coming down to the bottom and that's a lovely display and we'll decorate that with some glitter. There we go, that's a nice display and we might just pop a leaf in along there or a couple of leaves in along there and I've also got a bow to add to this part. So we'll get those glued in place and then I'll come back and show you the glittering. Now in my little scrap box I've found some flourishes so I'm going to use these on the card and I'm going to snip this one 
just along there and I'm going to put part of it coming down this way and the other part going up that way and then on this card I'm going to use these pink um, pearls and I'm just going to dot these around the flowers now they don't have to be the same on each side I'm just adding them in for a little bit of extra decoration now we can add these in. So we'll snip this down because we don't want it that big and just to make sure that it sticks we'll add a little bit of extra glue on the back of it. Now you need to be careful with this because like I said I'm very messy with glue so we'll just add a little bit and that's just to make sure that it stays on the card and we'll push that up there in between the flowers and then this one will snip that little bit off and we'll put this on the other side and again I'm just adding a little bit of glue onto the carrier sheet just to make sure that it stays in place and we'll bend these out of the way for a minute and we'll put that under there And with your pokey tool you can just bend those back very easy to do and now we can add some glitter onto these flowers so again just take your glue and you can use your little brush if you've got them and we'll put some glue onto the brush tip and we'll just dab it onto the flowers Now at the moment the glue is white but as it dries it will dry clear and all that will show then is your glitter. And I've filled the centre of the um, larger flowers with a little seed pearl. Now take your glitter and don't laugh at my glitter box, I dread dropping this on the floor. Can you imagine cleaning all this up? added a little pink seed thing pearl bit to the center of the bowl so there we've got two really pretty cards that are ready to send in an envelope or if you wanted to create a box for the depth of the flowers but you've got really nice cards there to send and as I said once the glue dries all you will have left on your flowers is the glitter so for these cards I've used the with love and best wishes um, decorative word and by splitting them, by snipping into it, we've now created two cards for the price of one. Now that had to be the biggest tub of glitter I think I've ever seen but such stunning cards and two for one there so one die two cards you can make them both at the same time as Christina showed you how much versatility is there now I do have some names to announce in a moment but let me just run through a few more things for you so I've mentioned lots of offers lots of deals I'd like to recap everything firstly before I do that uh, somebody I apologize I forgot your name in amongst the comments but somebody did ask how big is the cross now this comes in the decorative um, decorative geometric decorative corner die set uh, that's the size of the cross I can I can measure it uh, it's around about just over four inches tall 
okay that's the cross but then you do get that whopper corner alongside in with lots of other dies as well so lots going on today of course within the card making magic collection so we've got the large words and we've got of course the large corners we've got the embossing folders and you've got the stamps as well now if you are spending over 35 pounds on any of these products you're going to get that sentiment stamp set for free okay sometimes i'm not sure how it's going to work this time sometimes it appears in your basket and sometimes you have a tick box so you just need to check the ticks tick box at checkout to say you'd like to add that for free into your order but also if you're buying any two of the products you're going to get 20% off anyway so it's well worth just chucking another one or two in to make sure you are getting up to the 35 pounds after that so that's your first offer on the brand new collection then we have as I mentioned before we have the Mother's Day everything Mother's Day going on so we have got up to 50% off of products now these may be making in for Mother's Day if you're a little bit late like myself making things or maybe gifting to your mother or maybe just making things for all year round because you're a mum whatever it may be we have got craft items on craft stash lots and lots of deals and offers my favorite as I said is the handbags up to 30% off of those we've got tonic we've got made a surprise we've got simply made crafts over there lots of others as well huge bundles as well discounted and then there's things like specialty papers 15% off you know go and have a hunt on craft stash the best place to look is in the home page you see the banners at the top and they scroll around like a carousel they have all the offers on for the day so make sure you check those out and sign up to the emails as well there's also things like 15% off of pink ink at the moment so another one to stock up after you got those beautiful stamps last week now sticking with the Mother's Day theme very quickly as I mentioned over on Craft World there is a competition at the moment we're giving away over £500 worth of prizes that's over nine days one winner every day just pop over there and comment on the post to be in with the chance of winning that now I want to bring you back to the Paper Craft Society um, somebody did comment about the discount so from Monday because the children going back to school it's the perfect time to start learning something new and the best way to do that is with these paper craft society boxes now these are going to be on offer from monday so they're usually 27.99 they're coming down to 23.99 had to remember my numbers there and they are going to be as well two for 39.99 so that's an amazing deal now these are on the existing boxes they're not going to be on the newer ones but once you've got one it may well tempt you into subscribing to getting them every single month because they are fantastic and a new designer every month as well so that's those and don't forget to join Christina with her paper craft society craft along Monday the 15th at 6 p.m. now lastly before I announce these winners names which I have here um, thank you so much for Maria being in the background and randomly choosing the names we have a super weekly win prize over on craft world it is of course card making magic celebrating this week's launch over 180 pounds that's one prize is coming to one of you that's everything you see here i believe go over to craftworld.com if you haven't already signed up for free do that enter that competition because somebody wins every week it's amazing now the winners from this week are and again i'll in advance i'll apologize for any names that i pronounce incorrectly uh, from craft world we have natalie jane from youtube we have cherry mcnamee 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 you'll know who you are I hope and from Facebook Joan Pilotti maybe again hopefully you know who you are all of you are winners if you think you're a winner please message us and we will just confirm that then you can send along your postal address we will get your prize out to you thank you so much for joining me next Wednesday we have a free craft long for you we're keeping up with our keep crafting through lockdown we don't know when it will end who knows so we'll keep crafting every single Wednesday completely for free for you with different celebrities and guests and this week we have the lovely Sandy from our design team all the way from over in the States bringing you lots of graphic 45 goodies so she's going to be crafting with those make sure you join her at 7 p.m. on Wednesday and and lots more going on of course i'll be back friday and what's hot and ready to the craft there's lots in your diary keep up with craft world and keep up with the craft stash emails so that you know what's going on